Another second. Hi, everybody. Hey, at Fodish Chiropractic, we recognize and understand that neck pain, back pain, and headache and sickness uh, is a big deal. It's affecting all of our lives. It's wrecking our, our uh, activities that we, we like to do, and uh, it makes us spiral out of control often. And uh, we want to do something about that. So one of the things is our office area we could talk about. So in our office, we talk about ergonomic um, areas and what we can do to, to make ourselves better. So Angela and Scott were kind enough to let us uh, come into their house. Hello. So uh, we get to see like up close and personal like the environment that she gets to do her job in. So a couple tips we want to talk about. I often share with folks is that um, you want your elbow on something firm and, and the reason for that is because if your elbow is being supported by the table then your shoulders and, and upper neck and back muscles don't have to work to lift this up so you can pivot on them so if your elbows are down it protects that you'll feel it in your neck you feel you can relax you can't relax if you're holding your arms up in the air they're just doing their job so that's a big deal that'll that'll just help you uh, in itself uh, another another concept that we introduced to folks is this thing called 30 30 I know it's a TV show too but it's not about the TV show it's uh, 30 minutes and 30 days uh, research shows that uh, in 20 to 30 minutes whether you're standing or sitting you should interrupt that position uh, and get into another another body position to change that to re-recruit different tissue so um, you need to set an alarm or um, notification or, or something alert to uh, interrupt yourself to just stand you only have to stand for five seconds to interrupt that pattern otherwise the tissue gets super tight and just like making a fist if you make a fist uh, and you open it it's white first because there's no blood in there uh, because same thing happens in your in your back and in your neck and shoulders if you're stiff and rigid and staying there that that tissue starts to not get blood in it and you get pain and discomfort and then over time it just starts to not work appropriately so make sure you keep your elbow on the table uh, just as, a, as another thing that you can do to help yourself. All right, I'm going to ask Ange to stand. I'm going to finish off that second 30, 30 minutes we talked about, right? So if she was sitting for 30 minutes, the alarm would go off and I'm going to ask her to stand up. It's perfect. So that interrupts that, okay? And then another important concept is, is the 30 days. So every 30 days you want to be changing uh, some sort of element in your work environment. So the angle of the of the screen, if you have the ability to to, ride, to raise it or lower it, you want to do that also, just like she did with her her, uh, her desk. Um, there's different levels that you can stop at. Uh, every 30 days, change it up so it's not the same all the time. Okay, uh, it's super important. If you just start to apply those few things, uh, you'll see you'll see a change. You'll, you'll de-stress that tissue and, and you'll be more comfortable. You'll do, do your job better and maybe you'll get a raise. So I'm going to ask you to, um, to study this. Watch it a few times just to make sure you get the concepts and you can see kind of uh, uh, what, what Ange did there uh, and, and apply it. Just um, integrate it into your routine and, and if you make it part of yourself and, and what you do then you'll uh, stay out of trouble. And the third thing is to share because there's so many folks that are hurting uh, that don't have to be because of these subtle things. Uh, if they learn that, it'll it'll help them a ton. So, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll be we'll be around again to talk another tip. See ya.